What's up, my boy? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or troops. It's when we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella foolish in the 90s. And GP shotgun, when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G-code ain't passive. Still Mac and Rack, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash when they hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known. Really though. OG Wayne. We keep it moving smooth like every day. In this industry, Grew up in the streets of the LB. We don't love these hoes, what they tell me. Packed up and moved to the OC. Me and George ballin' like Shaq and Kobe. Fuck bitches get money, living wealthy. Bad bitches screaming, let me get a selfie. Big stop, she be some real G. Side dick is the general of an army. Egg she podcasting in the morning. Don't say F.A. here's your warning. That other bullshit be boring. With some goofy ass question, that's corny. Tommy, let me finish my story. Shooting shots, game six, rubber ring. Smoking blunts in the bus while I'm touring. Now, welcome to George Perez Stories. In this industry, we do we on these streets for sure. Streets for sure. We make that green, don't you go, no go. We make it moves all day, all day, all day, all day. Welcome to the George Forest. What's up, my boy? George Perez right here of George Perez Stories, episode 349. George Perez Stories is brought to you by JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. If your lawn is down and out, birds don't even fly by no more, the butterflies are protesting outside with the ants and the ladybugs, hit up my boys at JB and Sons Tree Service Landscape and Installation. They specialize in tree removal, tree removal, stump removal, irrigation, landscaping. They cut the lawn, they get the leaves out, environmental friendly, and they're all citizens. So, like, if your neighbors complain, they won't leave. They will finish the job. Hit them up on Instagram at J-M-B-A-R-R-I-O-S-12. Tell them I sent you, and you get a good price x to the g would it be chilling chilling you got me here working on a holiday it's a holiday today president's day president, huh? yeah, it's president. yeah. Pre- pre- but i'm the president oh. that is true so i'm the president and uh you're showing up come on dog you're not a citizen you don't get none of these dude <laughs> i never said it had to be a you an american president Man, uh, manuel lopez obrador that's my president right there yeah that's but it's not, day day it's not his day-to-day it's not his day-to-day i thought it's every president it has to be the president of the united states what if you're yeah, the president absolutely. of like brazil they don't celebrate it today yeah they fucking china president re- uh, they're more of a communist, so they're more like, hey, fool, like, we celebrate that every day. I was over here wearing my Mexico jersey under All my right. hoodie, you know, <laughs> president. Yeah. Uh, you know what's great about your outfit? Somebody earlier was asking about your outfit. <laughs> Everybody, fresh off his baby bash comment Woo! from Be Real, Dr. Green Thumb. They talked about you on Dr. Green Thumb. Give it up for three plates in the building. All right. Nice. In the motherfucking house, everybody fresh from Cali Vibes. <laughs> Just had a little set over there real quick. 
Yeah, what song. happened? Who invited you on stage? I was on stage with uh, uh, Soja. Oh, yeah? J-Bug. They just threw me on there. I was playing bass for a couple bands. <laughs> <laughs> just some road. Low, Wait, you, low, you see anything? A little uh, Bob Marley cover. H- hit and us then, with uh, the little dog. Hit us with something, dog. All around in my old town, they try to bash me down. <laughs> they say they want to bring me in guilty for the life of a deputy. <laughs> right here, everybody. Hey, you already know. You're going to be the first fool that's like on Saturday Night Live, dog. <laughs> You have a lot of characters, dog. <laughs> For fucking, you're, you're gonna be on Sabado Night Live. <laughs> Sabado Night Live at the house. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's Saturdays at Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> he hits that high note, man. Right, nice. that's what's up, yo. Also right. in the building, fresh from Vegas, my boy, the OG Don Juan. Give it up for Edwin San Juan in the building. What the fuck? I'm here, man. Only because I have all my teeth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking uh, side dick Edwin. <laughs> Show him your hands though, dog. Like, and oh, uh, man, why you gotta bring out my my hands for? That's, no, it's pretty crazy, fool. Because like, you can lie to a girl and be like, say you smoke a girl out, and she'd be like, oh my god, what happened to your hand? You're like, dude, nothing. I just laced that shit with mushrooms. <laughs> 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 what the Got the mushroom grip. She's like, oh my god, I can see them go straight. I'm just happy because fucking three plates rolled the blunt. I didn't have to do it no more. I got arthritis, and he's making me roll joints and shit. Does it hurt when you roll joints? Yeah. Damn. You no, it doesn't. Get that? I'm just saying that nah. to make you feel bad. I don't what happened, mind. Tommy? You rolled another one. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I've been rolling joints, huh? Yeah. It, honestly, I like joints because the paper's better. Yeah. Right. It's less harsh on you. Yeah, right? the blunt. Fuck, dog. The blunt is like... Uh, like... We, like, like when you smoke a fear man ass joint, it's like uh, bringing back if a supermodel passed down. You're like, you gotta give her CPR. But, like those are that's all the hits feel. Yeah, right. But when you smoke a blunt, it's like you gotta bring like a Samoan chick back to life. <laughs> Get her in. Oh, like damn, I got a fucking puff to bring this <laughs> back. Eh? What the, like my brother always says with blunt, he's like, he's like you're trying to hold something in you're not supposed to be holding in. Yeah, fucking that's tobacco. tobacco leaf. But, you but know, I, people like, you roll fat joints, though. Like, we were rolling fat ones, right? Yeah. Because people are like, nah, I like smoke blunts. I don't. And then they see my joint, and they're like, oh, all right, I'll hit that. Yeah. Because they're fat, bro. They're bigger than your fingers, though. <laughs> yeah, that's my, you, you my ever, cage. You ever I'm roll the, the spliffs? Oh, that's with tobacco in it, too? Nah. Throw a little bit? Nah, nah. nah. Hey, unplug the mic, gang. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, hey, fools be doing that. Yeah. Speaking of spliff star, you spliffed Xavier last week, dog. <laughs> what happened? Everybody, last week, we were we were lit, right? <laughs> we were lit, and uh, we lost Xavier's keys. Lost them, lost them. Lost them, like. Yeah? Like, we were here. Oh, yeah, remember you were off this. <laughs> He's all, yeah, you, you were right behind them, fool. <laughs> He's all, fucking, told me you go for the fucking buy cigarettes, remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the <laughs> most messed up part was he looked for an hour for his <laughs> No, keys. hold on, let me tell it for you. We fast forward it. So, hey, dog, we're right here chilling, dog. Tommy's like, he's high, dog. So, Tommy already has, like, a cereal bowl. He got some beef jerky plate, and he has, like, the little my my kids is snacks too. Eh? <laughs> We're like we gonna be here for a while. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> Tommy was parked in front of it or behind it. Where were you? No, I was in front of him. Oh was yeah, going he was there in the back. Yeah, until he found his keys. Yeah, and X tell tell the rest now. So I'm fucking here, and it's already what like one thirty. Yeah, like one thirty. It's like late, dude. It's, it's and he promised late. me he'd give me <laughs> cigarettes. Yeah, I, I kind of promised him. It was mm. kind of, he was like, come on, give me cigarettes. And I kind of needed the money. And he's like, here's 30 bucks. Yeah, keep it. Here's yeah, your, and uh, I know they're worth 10 bucks. So I was like, 20 bucks just to drive down the street? Like, even if you got money, it's still a deal, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go. So I fucking, so I put all the equipment down, put all the cameras away. Tommy, don't help me for shit. He starts snacking, right? I, once when I, I press over, he starts snacking. And I put everything away, and I'm... About to go home. I got my backpack ready. George already smoked a cigarette. We already smoked a blunt. And uh, I can't find my fucking keys. 
I can't find my keys. I'm looking everywhere in the backpack. And then George sees me, starts to see me freak the fuck out. He's like, what's up with this fool? Yeah. And we're all, he, he's like, dude, did this fool do a fatter line than Not me? Not because he's also, he's also <laughs> yelling at Tommy, well, hey, homie, what's up? You gonna help, dog? Because I think he cared he, he was, was behind me. Up. Yeah. He thought, if you're not going to fucking help me then, at least go to good cigarettes. Yeah. I was like, well. hey, and then like he brings all the backpacks out and he searches them at us. Like he searches them. Like if the, he's like TSA, he's like, <laughs> now taking everything out. Yeah. Sure. He's like, check your pocket. <laughs> he, remember he called Saul the guest? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bro, that's when you lose shit. It's like a mind fuck, bro. You're like, ah, where did they go? Like, how did they disappear? Like right? I got where here you, with them. So yeah, there's no way they're here. not here. Yeah. yeah. So then I keep looking. I started looking in the fridge. And Tommy's just snacking. In the fridge, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, because I got beer. So at one point, I'm like, maybe I fucking put them in the fridge. Right. I'm looking in the fridge. I'm looking in the laundry room. I'm looking at my car. I'm looking at George's car. I'm telling Tommy to look in his car. It's at the point where, like, yo, and I think they're kind of playing a prank on me at this point. I know. Where I'm like, yo, this ain't funny, guys. Like, it's right. 1.30 in the morning. Like, this. <laughs> and then George. And then this one I knew it was like kind of I was serious. tired. I was high. Yeah, George was like, give me those backpacks. <laughs> and then he starts going through the backpacks. Yeah. And then he looks at me. He's like, if I find these, you don't get them all fucking cigarettes. And I'm yeah. like, if anybody <laughs> finds them, I'll get them cigarettes. Right. That's so, the least of the problem. Yeah, exactly. So I keep looking and looking. I'm in the trash can. Oh, like I'm yeah. oh, he took the trash out. Yeah. Hey, dog, but but like he did it. Like if he was my kid, mad at me that he lost my keys. He's like, you have another trash bag. <laughs> I put his hands on his side and I was like, What's up with you? He's like, I have to go to the church can, dog. Sing, fool. Don't get mad at me. I didn't lose them. And then we're worthy. Oh, dog. And then <laughs> I go through the trash can. Then eventually, like, there's nowhere else. So I tell George, I'm Yeah, like, no, we went through the towels. Is it like 2 o'clock now or what? Yeah, it's like 2 o'clock. And yeah. I'm trying, like, like this one, like, the cops are, like, hey, getting Tommy's people for DUI. So I start still eating. Out. Yeah, Tommy's still just snacking. He's like, the longer I'm here, the more snacks. Eventually, George is like, comes out. He's like, I got him. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, this motherfucker. Where were they at? They were in my room, dog. I accidentally was fucking high as fuck, and I, I moved my keys to the room. Oh, damn. And I went in there, and because he's... But they were his keys? Yeah, but he never went to my room. Yeah, so that's the reason I never checked there. Because right. I mean, like, they can't be... Because, I mean, usually when I go to George's room, I'm like, yo, George, I'm going to go in your room. Like, out of, like, you know... Like oh, it's, yeah. yeah, it's like yeah. He usually locks the door, so I'm like, hey. And I knew I didn't do this this time, so I was like, yeah, I don't no let vatos in my I room, know you dog. Don't. Like, who does that? Hey, exa- hey, when I went to go visit Xavier, he's like, hey, fool, come in my room. Go ahead, take your sweater off. I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, sit down right here on the bed. Like, hey, <laughs> I've never been hey. inside my house. <laughs> Hey, have you ever lost something like that, Edwin? That was like uh, valuable to you, or you like you needed it, like your keys, an ID, or a passport that was like a crazy find. Oh like, man, yeah, I lost my passport for a minute, but then I, when I was moving, I found it. But I always lose my glasses, bro. I always have like four or five pairs, you know. Yeah. Sometimes they're on my head. You know? like, Where's my glasses? <laughs> but yeah, nothing crazy. The passport is fucking what I need because you know you get some gigs out of country. Where did you lose the passport? It was just in my uh, my sock drawer next to my fucking pocket pussy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think I would find it, right? But yeah. I didn't. Well, that's why you got a pocket pussy. You can't find the G-spot. Yeah. <laughs> so oh. you couldn't find the pants. I couldn't find the ass port. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering why the passport was where the pocket pussy was. Because sometimes, you know, you got to just bone out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Tommy, what about you, dog? Have you ever lost anything that's, like, been a mission to find and it was rewarding? Or it was like, hey, this shit's gone. Eh? My, nah, fucking. The last thing, I just the stupid shit, my keys, fucking right before I have to go to fucking work or some fucking bullshit like that. I'll be all pissed. And I'll, and I'll find them in my pocket. Up? Hell yeah. Hey, get, where are they at? <laughs> you know, fucking look, we're in your fucking pants in. I'm like, what, they, they're not in there. And then always my girl, always, she'll be like, look right there. I'll be like, nah, they're not right there. She's like, dude, look. I'll go and I'll be like, fuck. Right or I'll there. find them and I'll, be, and I'll be like, let me, I'll keep acting like I'm looking for some shit. <laughs> be like, I didn't find them there. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you're not wrong. Yeah, I'm all fucking looking over here. I'm like, here they are. Where? When I said, I'll be like, nah, they're over here. Like, Damn, she was right. Uh, uh, yeah, fool. Three play toys be like, God damn. <laughs> you said that shit on stage three times or four times. <laughs> 
I was crazy. God damn. Man, uh, <laughs> I've lost a lot of shit. A lot of it comes from um, just being so overworked. Like, I remember losing shit. When I used to do construction for I lost the keys to the skip loader. These motherfuckers were tripping, dog. Pissed. Yeah, they were like, who's the last one to skip loader? I was like, I left the keys in there. <laughs> And they're like, why would you do that? I was like, what do you mean? I can't take them home. That's taking home. That's stealing. That's company property. Like, it's not my job. Like, I I didn't. Who was I supposed to hand these to? I thought someone came and picked it up, dog. <coughs> and fucking, dog. These fools found that shit in my fucking, my, uh, <laughs> my pouches, dog. Because I had my pouches in my belt and shit. They're like, hey, fool, you left it in the skip or by the hammer? Cause I, <laughs> cause I had to set forms, but plus we like I, I used to fuck around on the skip loader dog because it's it's only the bucket and the back blade. You you never done construction like that? Yeah, that's the with the backhoe. No, the backhoe is different. This is just a skip loader. It's like a tractor. It just has a front bucket and then a back blade. Like you can dig and then smooth it out. Oh, okay. Or like it goes, it's crazy. I I lost it to that dog and like it was found and like. I just remember my boss being cool. He goes, hey, homie, like, next time, dog, let us know, fool, because we, we ordered it. We had to pay, like, 500 bucks for a new set, and I mean, you know. Uh-huh. Hey, you were oh, you didn't tell him you found it? No, yeah, they found it, but he was like, you could have just told us you lost it, you know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. But. You know what you lost? Huh. I'm not going to say whose party, but remember you lost that Coke sack during that Christmas party and you had everybody looking for it and it was a big major, like, I, I was a big deal and George was like, I wasn't there. It wasn't was. me, it was the other fool. Yeah. I didn't say his That's name. That's what I was going to say, the, the sack. I To this day, we don't know whatever happened to some one sack that me and the homies had. He's like, whatever happened to it? I was like, fool, I don't know, dog. He's like, fool, nobody ever found that sack. Shit, I don't know where that motherfucking sack is. Yeah, the worst time to lose a sack though is the night before you have to fly out to an air, to another place. Yeah, you're like, fuck, you're like, dog, it's in my clothes somewhere. Oh, because you might get busted on. The yeah. Plane. Nah, they, if they if you can't find it, they won't find it. Nah, that, that that's what they're good at. <laughs> Fool, uh, we went and I fucking I took a sack on me on fucking on a plane and everything, and I was like, oh shit, this shit was right here the whole time. Damn. Off the, off it was happy. right under their nose. Oh, happy. <laughs> I remember you lost the sack, bro, one time, and then my homeboy with Vegas, from Vegas was with you, and he found it. Yeah. Dude, that's the, crazy. The fool, you shit. never find it. Yeah, a full, a whole eight ball, dog. No. Nah. We were going to the comedy store, and I wasn't passed back then, so this is cocaine prime, George. Remember those? Oh, remember yeah. that guy? Hey, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Every night, hey, if I had a ball every night partying and shit, what's up? Full finger banging myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, homie, it was wild, dog. And like, I just, I did a bump for him on the way to get there. And then I fucking was drinking like a dumbass, drinking and driving. But you know, it's, 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 it's party time, homie. Only on the freeway, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I fucking, I pay the full right there at Pink Dot for the $10 parking, the homie. And then I must have, when I put when I put the money back in, it was in the money, and it fell out right there by the dry cleaners. And I walked to the store, dog, and I was like, what the fuck? Ran back, dog. <laughs> Went to my car, looked and shit, not there, dog. And then the fucking, his homie. He was just like, damn, dog, my bad. I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to kick it here no more. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone, It's <laughs> all sad. <clears throat> and then he was just like, eh. He goes, hey, what's that on the floor? And I was like, come on, homie, don't fuck with me, dog. And then he pulled it up, dog, and I was like. <laughs> You're all, yes. That's why boy got a pass. Yeah, dog. Like I was like, for whatever you want to drink tonight, I got you, dog. Even got him the pretzel. I got him the cookies. <laughs> yeah. I remember we went to Monster Massive, a rave. Crazy ass fucking rave, and then the homie he he had fucking sacks of uh, with with pills, like fucking ecstasy or Molly, whatever. And that fool, fuck it, I don't know what happened. He he ended up losing the sack, and he's all. We were walking, and he's all, "Hey, where's the sack?" And we we're already far, and he's like, "Fuck, the fucking sack's gone, dog." He's all, "I fucking dropped it over there." He's like, "We gotta go back." It was a bunch of them. So we go back and fucking look everywhere, 
And then we look on the ground, and you just see some shit floating. He's like, what is that? And it was a sack. Damn. And it was all, like, some stepped on, but it was a grip of pills. And he's like, fuck, dog. He's like, we would have lost this shit. So he just started handing it out to the homies. He's like, here, here, here. And everyone got fucked up that day. And that was the first time that I was I did that fucking shit. And then I remember I was fucking, we were walking, fool, and I was like, well, what the fuck is this shit? And that shit stopped me in my tracks, like. I was like, oh, shit. Molly? Ecstasy? Yeah, like, that shit, I fucking... You were at Disneyland? Yeah, no, I was at Monster Massive at a rave. Hey, uh-huh. did you did you turn into a pee-pee grabber? And that shit fucking <laughs> just, just stopped me in my fucking tracks, and I was just all like, fuck. Hey, did I, you let out those grab the chilango or No, what? I remember that some fool <laughs> came up to me, though, and he's all... He's, he's lying on eggs. Nah, I had fucking gloves. And <laughs> cause I was all fucking... I don't know, I think it was a Halloween or some shit, and I had gloves. And now Fufu, he's all, give me your glove. And he put it, he, he took my glove and he put some shit on it. And then he's all, watch, rub your hands together like that. Mr. He's Miyagi. all, smell your fingers. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I did it. And I was Fufu, like, what is it? Go like that and no, you, and man. I did it. And Fufu, it was like some shit. It was like some, it was like mint or some shit. And Fufu, that shit, I was like, dog, that shit <laughs> felt so bomb, Fufu. We're like, what? <laughs> and they, uh, my, uh, the homies like, they're like, let me smell it, let me smell it. And the homies are like, hey, dog, I'll buy your glove, fool. I was like, 20 bucks. And now who bought my glove? Because one of them had, they the both Michael had Michael Jackson it, one? But I sold one of them. <laughs> no, then it, I was wearing the Michael Jackson glove. On the but other then, hand. that fool fucking, he bought the glove, fool. And they were like, everyone was just passing around the glove. And I was like, fuck. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like some oil. This fool knows what the fuck it probably oh, was. Buy some oil, yeah. It's but it's like oil. it's like uh, some some fucking oil that make that shit makes you feel all fucking. Well, yeah, that shit. Cousin, everyone, cousin Tommy, thank you. Everyone was passing the, the glove around like a joint. Passing the condom around. Crazy. That'd be a weird, dog. Thing. Hey, so check this out. We're like in a saw. And they tell us, hey, dog, you guys got to have sex with this girl that has AIDS, one condom. Uh, Are we sharing it? Yeah. Inside flipping it all? Yeah, nah, just be like, all right, don't go, you know what I'm saying? You can't bust in there or you're going to fucking put it under the water and then put it back <laughs> in. I was <laughs> planning watching. He'd be like, hey, go watch it, dog. <laughs> Who's last? <laughs> Who's first? You got to play rock, paper, scissors to who goes first and who goes last? Let's do it right now. He'd be like, no, nah, Let's do it right now, dog. <laughs> hey, you got to go. Who's going first for me and you? All right. Damn. Oh. <laughs> so, two out of three. Two out of three. Going. Two out of three. No, it's just one. Now he one, goes man, against Edwin, eh? We're, it, it's but in you the don't know if I have rock, paper, or scissors. The way <laughs> yeah. my hands are fucked up. <laughs> He's like, I don't play. Edwin goes first because Let of that. See. Edwin <laughs> goes first because of that, dog. Uh, yeah. Because of handicap privileges, he goes first. It's yeah. Better, dog. And Asian. I won't even stretch the rope. Calm him out, bro. <laughs> you're right. He, he, yeah, he, yeah, you're right. He got to go first. I'd be like, hey, dog, he didn't even roll it. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, so check it out. It'd be Edwin first and then me. And then who you guys got to go for third, eh? Hey, you got to hit me with the fucking rock, paper, scissors. Nah, but Damn, I, feel like I, I, going last, nah, I feel like I sure. earned. I feel like I earned to go third, dog. I produced the show. Nah, hell I put nah. the f- rock, paper, scissors. You know we're going to record it. Pull rock, paper, you scissors. You know we're recording this shit. Dude, this is Saul. You can't record it. <laughs> All right, you ready, Tommy? Fuck. Rock, paper, scissors. Ah, ah, nice. ah, you lost in the same zombie. same paper both times, bro. <laughs> Best for last. <laughs> <laughs> Headliner shit, huh? Headliner <laughs> shit. Like, coming through. Time is coming time, in. Hey. I might take it off, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get AIDS? Gonna, he's gonna kiss her, dog. <laughs> Thomas is going to be like, don't trip. I got a Magic Johnson jersey. <laughs> Magic Johnson off. Fuck. He's like, you can't get AIDS on the tongue, right? <laughs> Can you? AIDS has to be through a... Uh, uh, glands. I think it's transmitted through glands. Oh, glands like, and a oh, blood yeah. transfusion, right? But it, Maybe a cut. It has, oh, to, it bodily, has to be like bodily hard. Bodily fluids. Bodily fluids. Yeah. Like a lot, though, dog. It yeah. can't just... like. You remember when fools are like, you can get AIDS if you use that fool's toothbrush. You're like, no, no, you could do, I think. Because of the blood from the gums? No, like, not from that, but. Um, but Sharing needles. Sharing needles. Oh, yeah. yeah. But is it, you think it's after a while or one time would do it? I I don't know. It, the chances of one time 
is hard as fuck, but maybe like, I don't know, dog. It's what it is. But now they got a cure for AIDS. Player, you just take a pill for the rest of your life and you're good. Like well, Magic Johnson you know, owns the Dodgers. Like HIV, I think, but AIDS not. I don't know. I That's think, too bad because yeah. easy. I think you can live with alive. HIV. Yeah. I don't know. But AIDS is like really You know bad. what? This part of the show is not brought to you by 100% facts. <laughs> it's brought to you by like eight Pacificos and like 88% facts. But out there, please everybody have protected sex. Strap on. Yeah. Strap How do you put up. a condom on? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you put I put sure. you in the eye, huh? <laughs> Thought, Bro, see. cause it's hard. Even as a normal dude, you're like you're you're like you're excited to go. You gotta yeah. roll it up. <laughs> and you know the machine and that, you know, it up. You know the machine you know. that comes down, dog. <laughs> the claw. Yeah. <laughs> That's all he takes. The girl's bra. <laughs> uh, I I put it in the girl's mouth, <laughs> and then she sucks it. Yeah, on. he's all do with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> She's like easy. <laughs> That's funny shit, uh, David. We blows it up and then puts it on with the air. I remember making a really. <laughs> hey, for, I I remember being like a scandalous when I was like eighteen or nineteen, and we used to make condom water balloons and throw them at people. Dog. Yeah, this is like because back then party crew, a lot of party crew parties were in, and just highness would be like, "Hey, you're the fools that throw fucking condom balloons at bitches." <laughs> Condom, they know you're a be no because it doesn't break on them, it just slides, slips. <laughs> she takes a grip of water. You didn't too, get huh? it, you didn't get it, it doesn't break it on does, them. Yeah, it's a condom, it just breaks yeah. on the floor, so it's, safe. Or it's bouncing around on the floor, but it hits some dog and it just slides. <laughs> X, what's up? What's your condom brand? Lifesavers, dog, they're free. Lifesavers? Yeah, dog. Those are the ones Rosie brought. Remember that day I told you? Oh, the ones you get from like Planned Parenthood? Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. ones they give strippers? Like, hey, but these are yeah, extra. Rosie grabbed those. Remember that day I told her? Yeah. I told you? That I told her I don't want a bone no more. And I was like, I have no more condoms. And she's like, don't trip. I got some of the She had a duffel <laughs> bag. Yeah. And I went in there and I thought she'd have one or two, right? She had a fucking brown bag full of condoms. No. I was like, oh, I got to go get tested. No, when, no, a chick, that, when a no. chick has more condom than you've ever owned, you got to go get tested. No, that damn. She, no, she gets tested on the natch, huh? Yeah. Like in a travel bag. <laughs> she probably got suitcases at home, dog. Was no, that packed lunch? You're like, no, nah, that's just a bag they give me when I go get tested. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the dumb motherfucker thinking, no, it's because she loves me. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she's prepared always. I want to be safe. When's the last time you used a condom, Evan? Dang. <laughs> Start crying right now. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I used one to, to jack off. No. <laughs> you, hey, fools do that shit. I was like, I'm gonna put a condom and jack off into it. A lot of a lot of strippers use that at strip clubs when they jack a full off, or yeah. they give a full head or bone. Of course, when they bone, but it's not. Nah, some go raw too, dog. It's wild. Damn. Dog, some hyenas are just like, it's you like, know like, one. <laughs> You only live once. Throw it in there. <laughs> Throw it in there. So I got a I got a Costco card of Planned Parenthood. Oh, but wait up. <laughs> They'll inspect it. What? Like when Rosie gave me a blowjob, she like li- lifted it up. She like inspected it to make sure I didn't have anything. She gave it a search warrant. Yeah. Uh, she, she, <laughs> she fucking. I was like, because I've never like I've never seen it like it. Was, and then I, I was like, George, what this was, and she was like, oh yeah, she was checking. You were like clean, clean, like yeah. they're pros. Yeah. They know. She like inspected like a mechanic and shit. She was like moved Dog. everything. And she, she had like, the CSI light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking little glasses come down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it, it, it's kind of weird too because one time this Hannah, she did search me. She goes, hey, "You got a score right there." I was like, "Bitch, what, what are you? <laughs> Where you're mad at me because I got battle wounds? Like <laughs> this fool's been through some shit." <laughs> yeah, she got bit by a dog. <laughs> here's my here's my current Planned Parenthood printout. <laughs> it's good for six months. <laughs> good for six months. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was hell no. Well, where do we go for Natty? <laughs> Ask Tommy. Tommy if, when's the last time he wore one? A condom? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. A long ass time ago. Yeah. How long you been with your girl? Uh, well, fucking like six, seven years. Six years? Damn. So, oh, like seven years. Damn. And then, yeah, dog, I haven't fucking. 
I don't try to be sneaky and try to take it off, and that shit just stretches. You're like, fuck, yeah. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you making balloon animals? This is all. <laughs> you were like, nope. Snap it back. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, fuck. Try to be sneaky, dog. So, uh, I want to say gracias. Everybody right here, we were on the last show, Los, Los, La Sancha show. La Sancha yes. show. Sold out the. Oh, on a Tuesday. Stand up comedy club. Hey, mad love to uh, every show we've done in Belfar has been sold out. Can I? Yeah. That's five. Hey, that's great. Fuck yeah. That's five bad. in a row, on dog. On a Tuesday, too. I think you were the first comic. Yeah. Well, yeah, to every, sell out on a weekday. Yeah, everybody else is like, I'm not going to do it Tuesday. And I was like, remember, dog? They hit us up a couple months ago. And he was like, George, you want to do a show? I go, I go, let me do a Tuesday night. And he's like, Tuesday? Make the, huh? You know? And Tommy made his own poster after <laughs> I sold it out. <laughs> Tommy made the poster. I hung it up on the freeway entrances and exits. It was already sold out, though. Fuck it. It's he's like so he's in the middle, so right? No yeah, he's in the back. He's like, like he's like, <laughs> he's like Popeye in, in in the middle. He's like, it's my parole picture. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Hey, but it was a good ass show. Yeah, yeah. X, do you like hosting? That was fun, but I fucked up. I spilled a beer right on, right in the I beginning. No, yeah. like, it was like, oh, fuck. you didn't even say one word yet. You were like nope. positioning the mm-hmm. stool, and then it just yeah. fell. But I guess you learned something. Yeah, that's what I said. You learned something. I mean, it was fine. now you hold that. You don't, don't even grab the mic yet because you were trying to get the mic and do it like cool. Yeah, I was all fucking slick Rick and shit. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. Just out. go put the stool down and put the beer right there. So the, the you should have said something fuck. like, "Oh, that's for the homies" or something. Yeah, <laughs> something play it off right there. You know, you hey, spill a little out for. Th- no, nah, but it was cool to host. Hey, Palestine doesn't even have beer to spill out for the homies. Damn, because they don't drink beer, right? I don't know. They don't. I don't know. Hell yeah, they're not drinking beer right now. Yeah, they're probably even water out there. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you know what's crazy? In it? Can I say it? Say it. <laughs> Like, how good is Israel's army? Because they're going against someone with no electricity, no water, no light. They know where they're at. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, That's we true. went after Iraq, and they technically had nothing either. Yeah, sometimes when you're those countries and you have nothing, your back's against the wall. There's nothing to lose, so you're just going balls you're, out. Yeah, yeah, like, no, but what I'm – dog, it, Iraq had lights – they had all that. We didn't turn off the lights on them. The government was still in charge of their place. We couldn't even beat Vietnam. Not nah, Vietnam was way different. You don't yeah, even know what you're talking was, about. Yeah. There's all the jungles and shit. Yeah. yeah Vietnam but, was way different. But we, there's full storm rocks at tanks, bro. Yeah. Like, fuck, that's you're going against a rock, against a tank? Fuck that. Hey, how good do you think the Mexico's army is? They're good. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. They have good pilots. Well, they helped the fools in Ukraine. They went over there. Yeah, but I'm talking like, because since USA is their neighbor, they really don't need a big army because if you get if you get to Mexico, we're there, dog. Yeah, right. It's our border, right? Yeah, like yeah, for real, huh? If any, if you see fools coming to Mexico, it, they're like, oh, US going to Mexico. Hey, if Russia was in Cancun right now, they're like, that's how you're like, oh shit. You think about it up north too. Canada don't have a good military because same thing. Yeah. You step into Canada, exactly. the U.S. will fucking have And you. we don't want them super armed because they're our neighbors. Mm-hmm. So why are you fucking mad at Russia for doing the same thing with Ukraine? Yep. Just protecting its Mexico. Yeah. No, the- it is. It's like we don't want my neighbor to live next door to me. And put bombs there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want my neighbor to live next door. No, my to enemy me. to be oh, my yeah, neighbor. Yeah. My bad. Good call. Hey, you caught me. Hey, hey you listen. <laughs> yeah. Just observing. <laughs> like a good neighbor <laughs> how did you feel about your set it was cool I liked it I, I trip out on some shit that I was saying like I don't know where that shit came out from but fuck it it came there came your last out. joke your last joke was fucking funny yeah. the Drake one yeah that shit got me <laughs> I, 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 that was good shit <laughs> You were all worried before your set, bro. I know, like, dog. I was fucking sweating balls. I was telling this with Edwin, hey, can you give me a ride home real quick? <laughs> 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 the whole time. How like, far do you live there? Like five minutes? Five minutes. Damn. Hey, dog. His home. Cl- hey, that's going to be your home club, yeah, Tommy. Yeah, just fucking walk around down there. <clears throat> yeah. like, hey. You're going to. They like you. They love yeah. you. 
Hey, tell the owner, go, hey, homie, let me host open mic. Let me do three well, places I, open mic. I don't think they have open <clears throat> mic there. They had it, Tuesday, and then they stopped. Because of me. They, well, I, I think they're, tickets. No. they're doing a whole bunch of shows or something. No, they still got it. It's just not weekly. Yeah. But if you jump in it, you can start your own room, dog. Damn. No, honestly, I'm dog, I would start your own room at a bar to learn the bar fill first. What do you think about that, Edward? Yeah. Let's I give mean, Tommy some pointers, dog, as far as, like. I mean, the, if you host a room and you have a couple of rooms, you're going to create your own stage time. Yeah. So then you'll get the time in there. And then you'll be able to book other comedians. And then later on, when you get, get there, they'll be able to book you with their other shows they got going on. So you network, right? Hell so, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it'd probably be better to start in bars first before you get into a club club. But, I mean, that's so close to your house, bro. I you know, can do both. Yeah. But at the bar, you can make more money. Yeah, that's what George did with Second Base. and Yeah, all, all the spots. The spots. All the spots, yeah. And you Patio. guys do your own shows and then fools just go. And I would just tell the owner, like, hey, check it out. Fool. I'm going to bring people in here and the bar is going to be packed. I need a five, six hundred, four hundred dollar budget. So I'll pay the comics. Keep two hundred for me. Pay two fools fifty and give four hundred. You go in there like on a Tuesday, and then you, you say like, well, "How much do you normally make on a Tuesday night at the bar?" And it's probably going to be shitty, right? Mm-hmm. So then you know, guarantee you they can make that x amount of dollars at the bar, you know. And then if they do that, and you do it for like six months to a year, then you get a raise, get more, get more, a little bit more money. You know? Now we had rooms like that for days. What? Yeah, you ended up when you four first, or five rooms. When you first started comedy, dog, what was it? like? I was just doing the... 1999? 95. Damn. Yeah, and then my first spot at the Laugh Factory was in 96. And what was it? I saw that it? piece of paper at the Laugh yeah, Factory, yeah. the Latino night. Monday night? Yeah, Monday night. They Who were doing the so good over there. This dude named uh, Chris Martinez at the time. Okay, the trench the parking coat mafia. lot killer. Yeah, yeah, trench coat mafia dude. Yeah, uh, this fool with trench, trench coat and, and the flyer summer. everything though, huh? Yeah, yeah. the parking lot killer. Give away Felipe free, would call them that. yeah, free tickets, dog. But they had it packed out Monday nights. They were end up doing two shows at eight and a ten. Yeah, and it, crack- it was cracking, was cracking yeah. dog. That's where I first seen comedy uh, from Mexico. It was sweet because they gave us passes and we would pass them out too, hand them out. It was kind of cool, you know. I remember I had to follow Paul Rodriguez at the time. I was all worried, you know. And he was healthy back then. Yeah, he was killing it. <laughs> what spots would you guys do back then? Like, uh, like was there a lot of more, like, little open mic spots or would you guys do, like? We never hit open mic spots. We just hit, it like, was like paid rooms. Yeah, were, paid showcase rooms. Like, people had bars, you know, like like the Mexican scene was more like, hey, look, the improv don't want us, the left factory don't want us, and the store don't want us. So we're going to create our own rooms. Like uh, Willie Barsena used to have Wild Coyote, da- Danny's. Yeah, Wild Coyote's Daily Planet. They were like, you know, those Latino rooms out there, Downey. Packed, Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Packed. And then we had a few rooms too, Club yeah. Rio. We were we getting had like eight hundred people there on a Wednesday yeah, night. Yeah, dog. No fucking were, yeah. way. Yeah. We would book black comics and they would be like, "What the fuck? How you guys do this shit?" Yeah. Like fucking. Yeah, I don't scrunch Yeah. <laughs> and and did, did the people pay to get in, or they would just pay to go? Ten, no, fifteen bucks. Like, yeah. we were getting robbed. Yeah, man. yeah. And they're <laughs> oh, making yeah. bar. Yeah. We were getting robbed, dog. But now we know, you know, if we would have knew back then and recorded that shit and charged, dog. But at the end of the day, though, fool, you do got to give it up to the promoter sometimes because that fool put it together. Yeah, yeah and they had people because they were doing club nights and yeah. stuff like that. So they had the mailing list. And so we were getting, like, Casa Latina, getting some fine highness going through there, bro. Casa Latina was one of my most favorite rooms, dog. Yeah, that was a nice time. I got laid there more than, nah, second base, but Casa Latina, dog. They're about to say more than anybody. And Patio. No, I probably put down more highness than anybody there. Okay. Because I got to who, host who and else, go up more. Who else was there pulling bitches back in the day? I wasn't, bro. <laughs> I never pulled bitches. Hey, well, was I? I? I had a crush on the waitress for like four years. <laughs> I never made a move I never on told her. her nothing? Never, bro. <laughs> and then finally, I took her out to a Laker game one night after all that shit. And it was just weird because she didn't really speak English that well. <laughs> Wow. I didn't know though because I never hey, talked to her, bro. Game, eh? huh? At least you got her to go to the game. Yeah, yeah, it was a good game. Yeah, I mean, but I have speaking of good games, but I don't have no good game. 
<laughs> you got her to the game. There was a hallway there, remember? Yeah. And it was led to the bathroom, so all the girls would always have to walk. And Chapo there. would stand there and hug girls, eh? Yeah, after a set. How you trying to get there? Yeah. I'm a hug at. No, nah, but uh, I was young for when I first. He was there way before me. So the Laugh Factory is your first night, right? Not my first night, but the 96 was the first time. But okay. I started in 95. And then um, I went up one time, and then I did good. And the second time I went up was at the comedy store, and I fucking bombed so hard, bro. Was that, it that was? No, but uh, it was Don Barris' show. <laughs> and, and I went up, and it was like a show for librarians because I worked at the library. So the, the librarian was like, oh, check this out. You know, there's competition for the funniest librarian. <laughs> so I went I went out this time none of my friends were there you know the first show like when I killed all my friends were there so this time was nobody and they fucking they were calling me pervert at the end of my show <laughs> yeah. why why what did you say I had a joke about jacking off with butter <laughs> and then right when I was about to come a, a crown came on my head it was a and I was like this isn't butter this is imperial <laughs> but they had an old commercial with that whenever they would eat it a yeah. crown would come on their head and they were like disgusting. <laughs> Get him out of here! Yeah. What, what what got you into comedy? Esteban. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you know what I'm saying. Like did did you have homies that did that shit? No, or I didn't did you have just homies. Say, Fuck it, I'm gonna... But I think watching Eddie Murphy and then fucking knowing all his lines and shit, we would do that shit is what got me interested in it. But when I was in elementary, I did like acting plays and stuff like that. But then junior high, high school, I didn't do any of that. So I felt like I. Missed You'd out have on socked it. the fuck up. Probably, right? <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. So I was just in the chess club like a nerd, bro. <laughs> you used to tear it up at chess? It used to be all right, but then fools just got better, bro. And I was like, yeah, oh. look at his hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he could hide shit. <laughs> hey, man, what piece you got? <laughs> Checkmate. Uh, he's like, man, he's got the queen in his head the whole time. <laughs> you ever play chess in when you were locked up or anything? You, nah. You know, it's not, that's not what's in your game or not? Is there a game that you played? I, I mean, when I was locked up, dog, I played, you know, dominoes. Really didn't fuck with spades, dog. I was just dominoes, um, Texas Hold'em poker, and sports, dog. Played basketball, handball, but basketball. You didn't play craps? Nah, I mean, I don't play that shit. Like... The no, homies the, did, none of the homies they don't play that. The shit. homies did, yeah. but it just it wasn't me. I'm I'm not really a gambler. Like, I I don't like to bet with something I can't control really. So when I do, like, I don't know, dog. And I didn't fuck with chess because fools would just be like, I don't know. I, my 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 thinking fool back then. I wish I did play it. They take it serious though, right? Yeah, my thinking back then was like, homie, I'm smarter than you without this game. <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna let you think as you fucking move pieces on this board that I don't know how to play yet. Like I still got you up here, and I didn't want. I don't want you to think like, hey, if I beat Georgia Chess, I could probably stab him, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got him, man. That's it. You know, like I that I think of crazy shit like that. I was like, nah, I can't show no, no but weakness. They probably think like that too, though. You're right. I'm not showing any weakness as far as like what's, you want to play some fucking Connect Four player. Yeah, <laughs> like, I got you, motherfucker. That, that now, you want to play some Uno play like games that I know, dog. But like, and I give it up to fools because it, it is a game of strategic planning. Yeah, you have to think like three, four moves ahead of the person. Huh? Mm -hmm. you look like Tommy's teeth. <laughs> think three or four root canals before, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this was. Hit me with the song, dog. Hold on, dog. Congratulations. Be Real and Baby Bash talked about you on the smoke box, dog. Oh, yeah, that's good shit. And Baby Bash was like, yo, homie, I want to write a song for him. He, he wants to fuck around with the fucking, the soldiers, the fucking tia. Yeah. The tia slayer, he said. Yeah. Fuck around. You saying that on stage. But he didn't do it right. You know? Oh. He didn't do the, your verse that you wrote. Yeah. You hit the notes like. Can, can, can you? Can you? I, no, I hit. I, I I fucking with the tia. Let me. Nah, know but can I tell tia. you what would be a good song for Baby Bash? That. Okay, look, I'm doing you a favor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you to a studio, and you should record. Wanna get a tattoo? That hey, for I think Baby Bash. 
If you show him what you have, Ooh. he'll write that into a good song. Hit him, hit him, dog. Oh, Yo, hit guys, hit live. Him. You heard it here first. Baby Bash, come on, my boy. We love you. You're fear, man. You representing for the culture and the art. Here's Tommy with his own written. And, uh, What's it called, player? I want to get a tattoo. Sauce. I want to get your name. I want to get a tattoo of you, baby. I want to get your name. I want to get a tattoo for you, baby. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> <laughs> With a little fucking piano. I need a little fucking machine that fool the Diamond Ortiz has with the little. I think you'd be good at that, honestly. Oh, no, man. because you have to know how to play the notes, though, right? I know. It, it ain't just him talking on there, huh? Yeah, he, he plays. He makes it where yeah. it goes. Wow. Did, hey, did you, see, did you see that little black kid that got his mom's, um, like, thing to talk? The voice box thing. Yeah, and then he did Zap and Roger. Oh, <laughs> no, he <really>? didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, we wanna, we wanna. Yeah, he's like, I want to be your man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be your man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but uh, Diamond Ortiz gets down, dog. Honestly, fool, Diamond Ortiz, no disrespect to... Uh, Who's that for? MC Magic? MC Magic. Magic. Diamond Ortiz is way more uh, original and funky and like, hey, did you know that the, who's the other for MC Magic? He has the one, hey, Zap, or Roger Trotman gave him that no one. No way. And he still uses the same one. Hey, that's player. Yeah, like. Because that's a OG. MC that's Magic's a one. Hard, but yeah, that's what I bad. think Diamond Ortiz is going to, uh. Hey, I'm not saying he's better than you, fool, but he's there. He's a right MC there. MC Magic is something about you, baby. Man, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but Diamond has, like, continuous hitters. Yeah. He's coming, dog. To do, oh, you know, and I'm fun. not putting the homie down. I'm just saying, like, 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 you know, George Lopez was there. Yeah. I think Diamond's going to be fluffy. Yeah. You know, George Lopez was there, but Diamond Ortiz has that Gabriel Iglesias. Like, come on, play everybody. Come on, dog. I'm putting it down. Funk Freaks too. Stop it. Hey, Funk is always good, huh? You know, the thing about Funk, dog, it's the most sexiest music that's proper and gentleman gangster class. I agree, 100%. You know? When, when do you get into Funk? Come on, homie, slap yourself up. Back in the no, but like when did like where you're like, oh with Zap and Roger? It was probably uh there's so many levels to funk, Tommy. Like my dad used to listen to Earth with a fire when I was like six, eh? Like five. James Brown. Yeah, like but my dad, yeah, I mean, plus my I got I'm the second youngest dog of six boys. So like my older brothers had it, but like I was also listening to like Freestyle break dog. I'm part of the whole movement of that shit. I love Good. funk dog. Funk is Goody uh, Mob. Goody Mob's <laughs> cool dog, but that's hip hop. Like a four. I like funk. Like back in the days, we used to go to the Swami and buy mixes, dog of like whatever, and just be like, "What the fuck?" Is oh, this? with the CD, remember yeah. where they would have just a it was just a fifty date. songs. It was, it was a dating on there. And you be I don't know what fucking number. Yeah, not even the You songs, couldn't even dog. skip. Wow. No, yeah, you could skip on these, dog. Oh. But, like, if you left that fool, like, in the car with the windows rolled up, the CD wouldn't play no more. <laughs> or that, or somebody's going <laughs> like, give me this fucking, I know what like, that is. You, you had to, like, put a fan on it or something, dog. You well, still have the you, book of CDs, huh, George? I still have them all, dog. As far as because of music, Edwin, like, when you were in high school, what was in? Well, my brother was in a Beatle band, so I grew up listening what's, to a lot of Beatles. Beatle ba- oh, okay. The Beatles, yeah. Okay. But Ken? Was, no, Jet, my okay. oldest brother. But he was like the only brown Paul McCartney. <laughs> 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 so they'd go to Beatle Fest. He was everywhere. Paul McCartney? <laughs> McCartney. 
But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I grew up listening to a lot of the Beatles and then rock and stuff like that. And then I got into hip hop later. And then reggae. But uh, yeah. Was funk big? Yeah, funk was big, bro. Like Bootsy Collins and stuff like Parliament, that. Parliament, right? all that. Parliament, yeah. And I just love how they would slap the bass and get down. It's just badass, right. bro. Give me a funky beat, Tommy. <laughs> Yo, everybody, we'll be right back. We're going to fix Tommy's horn. Late. And we're back like a hood rat in the Cadillac waiting for the sizzag. George Press Stories is also brought to you by Gunther's. Located in downtown Santana, they got three stores, Broadway, Maine, Suavecito Headquarters. Then they got one in Monte. What do they got? They got Pendleton's, Khakis, Ben Davis, Vans, 501s, Carhartt, Custom. Like, other vendors come in and drop off some Feedman shirts. They got Suavecito. What am I missing next? Like, they got Hush Puppies. You say Vans? Vans, the Botas. Everything. Todo. (laughs) (laughs) Say todo again. Todo, dog. Everything. Todo. They got everything. I think think even if my dad went, he'd find something. Hell yeah. Edwin, have you been there? Uh, No, I haven't. Tommy. You got to go to Gunther's. I go. Make sure. Get it hooked up. Yeah, you're going to come out G'd up. eh? You could look like Tommy or me, but not X. (laughs) <laughs> so if you're trying to look like me, Tommy, or Edwin, go to Gunther's. If you're trying to look like X, get a sugar mama. <laughs> How much does that sweatsuit cost, dog? Uh, like two, three hundred? Like, nah, four thousand. Four thousand. Like, nah, like uh, ninety bucks. Four, <laughs> yeah, forty for the hoodie. Forty for the hoodie. Fifty for the sweats. And, and what is it? That's like uh, Muhammad Ali, like in Egypt. No, nah, full Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh. oh yeah, dog. You're wearing another vato. What did you? Stone Cold say? When you drink a beer, fucking you just crash. You just crush two beers. That's it. Nothing. Going. But he didn't say yeah, brother or some shit like. I don't know. No, that's, that's Hulk Hogan. Hogan. Yeah. yeah you never watch wrestling? You, yeah. You, you, you put a like, mask on. You put. You know mask who Hulk Hogan is? Let me tell you is? something, brother. You know who Hulk Hogan is? Yeah. Hell yeah. Let me hear your Hulk Hogan. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> Who's the fool that fucking come out with some fucking shit? <laughs> the fucking Ultima Wire. Do dude. it, fool. Do it. Do it, dog. Who, oh, fucking Ric Flair. Woo! Nah, no, you can't do Ric Flair, dog. You're George can do a good Ric Flair. Yeah, but I won't. You won't? Nah. nah. He's too good, bro. And he's still alive. You used to fuck with wrestling, Edwin? Ric Flair. Yeah, I like Ric Flair. <laughs> oh. He's my favorite wrestler. <laughs> Ricky Steamboat. Junkyard dog. Those are when I was Why you always like, pick the Asian one, dog? <laughs> hey, but Rick Steamboat, like, what was his, like, uh, style? Like, he came in dressed like a, a Asian, huh, with, like, a bandana or something? Like, a, Yeah, he did. Do you have a bandana? He had, like, a headband, huh, like the ones that, the, like, Asians would have, but it was, like, a silk burgundy one or something. Who yeah. was the fool that would come and he was, the fool was bald, the big-ass fool with flames, and he had flames tatted on his head? Big old fat fool. Big fat Bam Bam Bigelow. Yeah? Yeah. But it was like, oh. The alpha was bad, and then the the brothers of fucking... The, the yeah, I mean, they, dude, it's all scripted shit. Like, hey, I'm not hating on... Ultimate War, Sting. They were cool, dog, but... Mankind. But Jake the Snake. Yeah. I mean, he, he, he puts a snake on top of you after you lose. That's like, so tight. Fuck, bro. What happened, Tommy, if he Poor throws a snake a... on you, dog, and then takes out with your hyena? I'm going to make a fucking suit. <laughs> Snake skin down to the flow. Even a mouthpiece, huh? How it had and shoes match. Baller, huh? Where would you put the eyes and the mouth at? Like on the back of your sweater? On the boot, <laughs> on the belt buckle. Oh, that oh. big? Just a little fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, fool. Fucking, fucking cufflinks. You, ah. Did you see in Florida, fool? The snakes, they run around loose, but like fools that get. slither around. Fools that get s- snakes and they grow big. They'll be like, damn, it's just eight feet. And they just go to the Everglades or to like the the River? out there, and just let them loose, and they they live out there, but they get big. How do they adapt though? Do you think they still know how to hunt? They're like, damn, if I'm in water now, that's what I. I'm like, well, you, they know how to hunt because you feed them, like you know, rats, rabbits, and rats and shit. 
They're just out there like, I'm out. Know, for when I was little, there was this fool that had a, a fucking 14 foot python <laughs> at the house. No, that's two shacks. For a big ass one. Big old snake. For like a real one, like, like on some fucking. They had a head like a pit bull. Hunter. Fool, he would feed it like. Puppies. Oh, yeah. you're scared. Sad. Man, I'm not even playing. And you wouldn't and beat like, his hey, ass. We, no, we didn't know that he. We like we didn't. I wouldn't watch him or nothing. I just heard like, hey, he feeds that shit, fucking cats. Yo, man, this fucking dog, that dude. shit like a lamb, like a lamb. And he'll be like, you got puppies for sale? <laughs> oh, you're like, scared. Who got three like, puppies on the damn. internet? And shit. And like, hey, scared. You need. I'm like, what a waste hey. of food. Hey, can you go to jail for that? I don't. I mean, yeah, right. I don't know. No, because yeah, you're not supposed to feed the puppies or anything, or they'll be like, "No, nah, well, it, it's food. Eh? Well, you can do whatever yeah, you want." You can't fuck with white people's pets, bro. Just yeah, straight up. Like, you can't feed the fucking. They get mad that you feed the mouse, right? Yeah. Don't they get mad over that, X? Uh, Peter gets mad, but they don't give a fuck. They still sell it at Petco. You yeah, yeah buy, they still. You can you buy, buy pinkies, rice. but you can't buy like a little chihuahua to feed like a mouse. Imagine. Nah, that's fucked up. Edwin, where do we get dog at? Well, this is uh, my neighbor. <laughs> Damn. Uh, he's a rancher. <laughs> well, he, he has five dogs, so he's considered a Filipino rancher. <laughs> hey, that's a uh, delicacy, huh? No. They, they eat it when they're drinking. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Because there's, there's no food, brother. It's a poor country. Oh, oh that's yeah. where it comes from? Yeah, I mean that's where they, they would eat it, but they probably get all fucked up and hungry. Like let's fucking let's eat the fucking dog. Oh, they're like, where's Elroy? <laughs> well, I don't know who I was with for when they were telling a story. It was like an old man, and he said that they had to eat the dog once because it was broke. The family pet dog. But I don't think they don't eat it with like rice and. But he was he was a Mexican. It was a Mexican man. It was like I was like, damn, like we're on el perro. And he's like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was like, like, damn, uh, dog. I'm a chihuahua. Like, fuck. I would have been like, that's like five times. I'm like, yeah, that ain't not nothing. Yeah, you need to eat a bigger. I'm dog like, you better get a fucking. I would go to the. I would look around and shit, drive it down the streets. I'd be like, there he goes. That's I would it. Never eat this a dog, big ass bro. Rottweiler. What if you were starving? What about a coyote? Would he eat a coyote? Nah, like I'll I'll find something, dog. A, a raccoon? Would you eat a raccoon? Shiny. You know what I heard is bomb possum soup. Yeah, but by your teeth, I can like, tell. Fool. Dog. Hey, dog, but I heard, like, the homie, he's like, fool, one time we went to this place, we're on a road trip, and they were driving from, like, Texas to, like, Arkansas or something, and he's like, we uh, we stopped at, like, a little diner spot. Ran over eight of them. And he's like, we had soup of the day. Let me get soup of the day. And he's like, we ate it, and then they looked, and they're like, that shit say possum soup was soup of the day? He's all, bomb. <laughs> he's all, we we're like this shit is possum and they're, they're like yeah it says right there and they're like what the possum soup like would you try that shit nah if someone tells me something's possum bomb bone, niggas? If, <laughs> oh, if someone tells me hey like this shit's fire and they're like but it's possum I'll be like I'll try it See, cause it's leader. like if it's bomb and then if it's imagine if it's bomb you'll be like what I, still, I don't want to eat a possum dog even if it's bomb like maybe dick is bomb Tommy <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah, eat it like you know what I mean <laughs> he said all he needs to hear is someone say it's bomb <laughs> <laughs> I, can gay, I can get a gay guy to tell you dick's bomb dog are you, are you gonna get it what you eat? Oh. <laughs> no, he wouldn't even get the key well <laughs> hey that's what I'm saying and, and you know what I was at work fool and I was show you know those videos of like the in India how the the street food, how they'll be cooking and he'll just like break up the meat like that, and the food's cooking and his hands look all dirty, mm -hmm. and the homie's like I'll fuck with all that food. He's like that's just probably bomb, dog. Even the food that he's all think, the chicken he's all on think. his, his hands are just <laughs> even. That's that what shit? I told him. He's like not like that, dog. He's all but like that food right there. He he was just a man like. But uh, it, it, they mix everything with, like, their hand. They throw a grip of seasoning in there. I'm like, damn. A little bit of shit, and they put all that seasoning. But Yo, everybody, you're <laughs> listening to George Perez stories. <laughs> Edwin, plug your dates right now, dog. Yes, sir, man. I'm about to turn 55 years old, so I'm going to have my birthday party uh, show at the Bellflower Stand-Up Comedy Club on March 22nd. That's the first day I ever did comedy was on his birthday, dog. Serio? Serio. Hell, uh, twenty one or twenty two years ago. Damn, or longer? Or? I mean, maybe longer, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because Georgie was like what 
Four? Yeah, you're sneaking him in the club. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> nah, like, yeah, he was little, dog. Yeah. I mean, so maybe back. like 22, 23 years I've been in this shit. That's tight. Yeah, because I'm going on 30. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild, on man. Game. On his birthday, I went up, dog. He, he he did a birthday show at this club called Club Rio. That was in Fullerton, right? Yeah. yeah. But what's coming up February uh, or March 22nd? Yeah, it's the Stand Up Comedy That's Club. It's a, right? a Friday night. Yeah. yeah. At the Bellflower Stand Up Live. Yep. I think it's Bellflower Stand Up Comedy Club, yeah, right? Yeah, Stand Up Comedy, Comedy Club. Club. Yeah. And is it an 8 o'clock show, 10 o'clock? It's a 9 o'clock. The doors open at 7.30. Oh, it's even better. I got my Panoise in the Hood shirts. I'm going to be slanging. <laughs> I, I kind of posted a couple of them online, and people were like, oh, I want to get one. So I've been mailing out a few of them. Yeah, that's dope, dog. You know oh. Boys in the Hood? He did, he made a shirt called Pen Noise in the Hood. Hey, I know my homie would get one. Oh, yeah, from for work? sure. For, he'll, get, he'll be like, let me get a couple. Dude, hey. you can see all these nurses wearing them in the hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what's cool about Filipinos? Filipinos are like uh, the Samoans of Asians. Of like, you know what I mean? Like, because you know how Samoans are athletic, they can sing and dance? Yeah. Filipinos are like that. Like, after that, it's like, you never seen too many Korean Nate dogs, though. <laughs> is there any? Is there any Korean R and B singers? There's no Nate dog because the dog's gone. It's just, <laughs> it's just Nate. It's Nate. <laughs> Nate. No dog. <laughs> right, because Koreans hot on K-pop right now. They're doing good on that. Like, but you guys are karaoke champions, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, a lot of Asians love to sing. Japanese people too. But I think Filipinos, you could be any other race and get along with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you guys are chill. Yeah, white, black, Latino. It's all chill, you know. But you don't see it's like Koreans or Vietnamese mixing with other really that that much, you know. Yeah. Would you Do, con- would you consider Tommy better than a karaoke singer? Oh, or, or is he up there? Because you've heard some well, good karaoke. You I don't like singing karaoke. Karaoke to me is good if you can, you know you can hold the note, but it's nothing original. You're just singing other people's stuff. Tommy's fucking busting, bro. It's fuck, and he's hitting those notes. It's dope. It's dope. Yeah, he's a itchy Valens. Well, right, carry because you're original. <laughs> Filipinos copy a lot. That's why they're good at karaoke because they can like mimic and copy really a lot of stuff. There's well, fools doing concerts of doing covers. Hey, one day someone's gonna do cover that, you. Tommy. I'm gonna do it. Tommy, who do you think could cover you? Joe, does he? PM Don. <laughs> 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 we need Houston. That food. Uh, what was a uh, one of the foods from Voice of Men? I don't know, but them folks are down there. Eh? Who was uh, the one food that sang Joe to see Joe to see? Remember who was the food that sang um, with Tupac? That's uh, Joe to see uh, Casey and Casey JoJo and Jojo and Devante. Just Casey and Jojo, they're fired. They're dog. bad, dog. They're bad, homie. Xavier, you didn't listen to no R and B, huh? You listened to the like, MB writers. That was your like romantic shit. MB writer was dope. It was dope, but was before dope. that, nah, you couldn't to... beat Key Sweat, Joe to C, R Kelly, R Kelly Silk. R Kelly was dope. I remember to this day, he still got to bump R Kelly sometimes. Yeah, but we were bumping R Kelly where he was the same age as the girls. He was only seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> you get judged now if you bump R Kelly, huh? Nah, I'll be like, turn that shit on. Nah, but I didn't need to. I'm sure I've asked you this, but I do still get requested at the strip club? It's, come on, dog. It's <laughs> play without even requested. Dog. I'll play that four songs in a row, dog. You know, what R. Kelly did is horrible, man. But Spotify has it on. <laughs> yeah, and I, I pay for the membership. Like, R. Kelly's music is so good, people are like, nah, we're not taking that off. If Michael's on, he's on. <laughs> Do you Michael. think he's getting served up in jail? I heard he did get socked up, but uh, you know, fools are like, "Hey, man, uh, you sure you guys want to kill this entertainment we have here? Just get this fool to sing once a month." He kills it in <laughs> They're there. probably taxing him for a concert once a month. You know, easy. Hey, would you? Hey, would you watch that on Patreon? That'd be dope, dog. Bobby yeah. Brown in Chicago singing in prison, dog. Hey, Bobby Brown no, busted? No, it's not Bobby Brown. I mean, R. Kelly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, Bobby Brown got busted again? Like, he's like damn. Free Bobby Brown. Yeah. Bobby hey, Brown. you got to give it up to Bobby Brown, though, dog. Never got no allegations like that. Nah. Because they said he was 14 years old and older women would take advantage of him because he was only 14, 15. 
And like 21 year old Hannah's would take him home because he's that gifted, dog. Well, he was like a, a celebrity, you know. Yeah, like when they came shit. out, new edition. Yeah, uh, and then Boston. when he became Bobby Brown, it was over. Hey, they said and, Bobby yeah. Brown used to have mad holes around. Like, that fool was a baller. Man. He was like the fool, like the ladies. Dude, and then he got Whitney Houston. Damn, right? That's fucking And Whitney Houston was big time back then when she he got She was America's her? sweetheart, man. Gosh, probably the best voices ever. Yeah, she's yeah bad. top five, right? Yeah, but uh, maybe yeah, top three, maybe I don't know. Now, even a white it man protected her dog. Food. Kevin Costner was willing to die for her dog. <laughs> Is that his name? Yeah, for the body art. Yeah, hey, from died top for her three, dog. who's top three of singers of all Whitney time? Whitney Houston. Women? Go ahead. Of uh, women singers. Yeah. Oh man, dude. Maybe uh, Aretha Franklin. Damn, I was gonna say that. <laughs> 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 and then. um Maybe Tina Turner, maybe? Nah. nah. She's an entertain- entertainer. No Mariah Carey? Oh, I was thinking a little bit older, but yeah, Whitney would be there. I don't know if I'm Mariah. They, they have to be like top five or ten or some shit. You can't do top three because top three it. is you like... You just said are, it. Aretha? You're, Gladys okay. Knight, maybe? Aretha? Uh, who? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was with Gladys Knight, but she was with the bitch. Whitney with, Houston, Whitney Aretha... Houston. Aretha and uh, that's probably damn. That's top three. Who fucking okay? In, can in I get my house? top three? Did you go Adele? No. Taylor Swift, of course, dog. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Taylor Swift's Who sings singing. so. Can I talk, Tommy? <laughs> Taylor Swift sings so fucking good, dog. She got Kanye West kicked out of the motherfucking Super Bowl. Yep. <laughs> Is that power, dog? Like a yep. for a lot of. I didn't know who the Chiefs were until she started dating <laughs> Travis Kelsey. Trav, hey, hey, can you can you uh, bust a Taylor Swift? I don't you know, know any no, Taylor you Swift. Know. Can uh, I get my other two teams? I back? don't fuck with that shit, but I don't think she could sing where she's top motherfucking. It's my list, 100. dog. It's my list. All right, it's so, not so, the... All right, so it's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, Sade. Oh, Sade. And... Uh, Motherfucker Whitney Houston, homie. Yeah. Damn. She could, she could hold dope and hold a note. Yeah, she party, yeah. <laughs> but For not real? in the bathtub. Yeah, dog. This he, one says she's fine. Like, we're talking oh, about she's single. fine. Oh, I didn't say that. Huh? Oh. Whitney Houston's fine, yeah, dog. She was fine. You don't think she got fine? cracked out, though. Yeah, man. she's fine, dog. And she, Who's she's your top three, X? Mariah Carey. <laughs> she bad. She bad, yeah. yeah Especially she's during bad. Christmas. Because <laughs> she has a Christmas song. Remember I was telling yeah, you about yeah. that. Every year they'll play it every year. And what are the other two? Mike Carey. Man. Britney Spears. Come on, oh. fool dog. Singing. <laughs> <laughs> what did she didn't say? Like singing though. Like ah. You know what? I I I, I take back because popularity is the one thing. Yeah, I take back Whitney Houston. When the Houston ties with Christina Aguilera. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I always felt if she sang oldies, if she covered, if Christina Aguilera covered oldies, homie, imagine her singing Sad Boy. Imagine her singing, like, <laughs> uh, Angel Baby. Shoo! Hey, Damn. You think Selena could have done oldies? Like later, yeah. like later in the day, you think she could have? Because she had that kind of the look Hell for her. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I mean, she could, but her dad kept her away from Cholo's dog. So I don't know. You don't think you would have got he it? He would have been like, chat, you're not fucking singing that shit. Eh? It's almost yeah. that fucking thing. You, you don't think one day she would have pulled up to one of your comedy shows and be like, damn, I like this show. Oh, she's an old ass hyena, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you think Selena would have still been on fine right now? Of course, homie. Like Sofia Vergara fine, like J Lo fine. Sofia Vergara is not fine, dog. You don't find her she fine. She has a nice body. She's not fine, homie. Like, would you hold her hand at the mall? Hell yeah. You'd hold that old ass tall lady's hand at the <laughs> mall, dog. Yeah, Sofia Vergara, yeah. Yeah, so uh, she'd be the Sofia. What, what's the other one? Um, Selma Hayek, Selma yeah, Hayek. Oh, for her older height now. Yeah, but she's not a singer. Uh, yeah. We're talking about singers, right? But so does Sophia sing too, or no? You know who's nasty as fuck and, and always thinks that she's still fine. You know who's still fine, old as fuck, and then who thinks she's still fine and nasty is Madonna. She's Madonna, nasty, dog. Yeah, but she put the work in player. She's yeah, a, she's a legend. But you know, you'd hold her hand, Madonna. Hell you'd nah, get the bro, hell, hell, dog. <laughs> busted, dog. I'd be like, 
Touch for the very first time. <laughs> Hell no. Who, Tommy? Cher. Nah, dog. Who, Cher being a hundred? Yeah. Nah, You're like, for, damn, she, she's, she's related to Dracula, same. fool. She's something. She eats, what is it? Adrenaline comb or something? Adrenochrome or what is it? Adrenochrome, yeah. That shit that they eat for fucking. She's turning back time. <laughs> damn. <laughs> is there a hot Asian female? Huh? Is there like a hot Asian female actress yeah, or singer? Yeah, we'll go on the news. All the mm-hmm. ladies have been there since we were little kids. Talk about singers or actors, is there? Yes. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, know, I don't uh, know any Asian ones. Margaret Cho? She's not a <laughs> singer. <laughs> uh, for real? I don't yeah, know. Man. Yeah, who else? How, hey, how damn, you? Molly. Oh, what's her name? Tila Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> the pink Power Ranger? <laughs> the, pink the yellow Power, Power Ranger? Ranger. <laughs> hey, there isn't no Asian tongue. We just have porn stars. And yeah, stuff, Janae Aiko, right? She sings, though. Yeah. That counts. Yeah, we were talking about singing. Yeah. That what are we yeah. talking about right yeah. now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hot singers singers go. Top, top three. Yeah. Top top three. Top oh, three. and then the girl that was in Charlie's Angels? Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou. She doesn't sing. She's though. an old ass Haina, dog. Christine Yamamoto. The girl that used to do. Uh, Ice skating. skating. Tommy's Christine like, Yamamoto. Right there, Sir, yeah. Hey, hey, right now, Tommy's <laughs> like, hey. You're just naming every Asian chick. No, it's that Christina he knows Yamamoto is the lady from the New York. Yamaguchi, yeah, Yamaguchi. Right now, Tommy's like, hey, that that uh, Korean chick from Young Guns that they stole the. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the, the ice skater one. Yamaguchi. Nah. Yeah. The one from Cerritos. She has Homie, a, he's from Cerritos and he's Asian. He knows. I There's think... a skate partner right there for her. Uh, ice skating ring. Yeah. What's her name? I she, think it's her. Young though, skating no? girl. Nancy Kerrigan? Nah. Michelle Kwan? Oh, yeah, that's it, I think. Is it Michelle? No, it ain't Michelle Kwan. Is it? How many Asians do you know? <laughs> is, that a, is she skates? It's either her yeah. or Christina Yamaguchi. Yeah, it, it is Michelle Kwan then. Right. Damn. That's God their own damn. teacher boulevard, the ice skating God damn. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, brother, where else are you going to be at besides March 22nd at the Stand Up Live in Bellflower or Stand Up Comedy Club? In, in Bellflower, yeah. Yes. I'm gonna, I got a show at the Ontario Improv, uh, two shows actually, or it's four, but on the 8th and 9th. Fuck yeah. Yeah. And then aren't you going to be at the Post, the Pizza Post? In yeah, the, that's oh, in April. Okay. Right? And I think I might be going to Texas in a 420 show. Spans on and the beat. Night. What time do we fly out for that one? <laughs> <laughs> it's Pasadena, Texas, but you can just go to Pasadena. <laughs> yeah, meet me at Pasadena, <laughs> yeah, dog, at the Rose Bowl. Hey, dog, hey, could you do me a favor and, and, and let Tommy do your show where he does a show where the, the fans don't know him? Oh. <laughs> like, I want, no, I want so you, you to grow. Gauge, huh? yeah, yeah, right, right? X, I do it to X all the time. Tommy's going to be out there, he's going to be like, you're gonna try to sing. I want to see. I'm there to be random people. I have no idea of this song. I'm gonna be like, what are you saying? Man? He's like, why is it not working here? <laughs> all right. Why did they, they burn their tea? <laughs> They're all sir. Fucking place in order. What would you? What would your joke be if it was a bunch of Filipinos? Like, you no, know, it's a couple of Mexicans, a couple of whites, but mostly Filipinos out there. About when, when, uh, when I would get when I got ojo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I would just bring out, I'll the, bring out the older ones. I'll talk about first forty-eight, auntie. first forty-eight, because you know they be always watching TV and shit. <laughs> <laughs> let me hear. Let me hear. Just uh, uh, when uh, when you watch uh, first forty-eight, after a while, you start thinking of ways to get away with murder and shit. Like you be thinking about, like, oh, I shouldn't have took my phone to the spot. <laughs> like, I just should have waited three days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I should have burned the plans. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Make sure there was no cameras around. Yeah, you can come do the show on the March twenty second at the stand up live yeah, comedy club. Yeah. All you're doing is doing your show. Oh, with I'll Kofina. drive. I'll open for you, and then I'll uh, and then I'll drive Yo, to Paul straight Scholes, to please. <laughs> <I'm not> even, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I got a flat. <laughs> what do you got coming up, X? Okay, nothing, dog. Well, we got your show. We got the Covina show, Bakersfield. Yeah, you know what? Can I, I plug my shows yeah, too? Go for it. Uh, March 16th uh, All VIP is sold out Ooh, So there's only nice. general admission left for the peasants 
Those are the people I want to party with. I want to party with General. March 16th, I'm at the well in Bakersfield. That's a Saturday. I'm doing a 7 o'clock show because I want to fucking party later that night. So I'll start drinking at 7, maybe do a couple bunts by 11.30. We'll jam at 1.30, dog, and sass. I'm big. bringing me three plates, X to the G, and Edwin's going to come through and crash it, right? Hell yeah. I'm there, brother. So, yeah. Hey, if it sells out, I'll double everybody's pay. I was going to give you guys 100. I was going to 150. For <laughs> That's the well, Bakersfield? right? Yeah. We're staying the night out there? No. Dick, ain't nobody could fucking driving back at fucking You're one driving one back. Three hours? You're driving back. It's not three hours from Bakersfield. Not, from here? That's an hour and a half. Hour and a half. You're trapping food to I've, Bakersfield? I've done it. On a Saturday? Me and George have done it before. On a time. Saturday, homie? It's like two hours max. And you're new to the crew, so you're driving back, dog. We're, we're, we're getting a room. Look for if it's... Are you going to guess room, Tommy? <sighs> no, I told you one of the homies has a brother that lives out there. He has a house. One of the homies says, you want me to stay at a stranger's house that you don't <laughs> I know, even know? I don't him? even know him. He's like, hey, you got some stay there. I'm like, hey, dog, no, well, we call you when, you're, when we're there. Hey, dog, we're at your brother's house. Can you call him? <laughs> George just sold out the well, and you have to call some fool. Like, yeah, hey. They're like, hey, what hotel did you get? You're like, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's homie and shit like this full smell in my like, no, they sold my clothes there's gonna be a gang of Ridgecrest people right there Not, that's it, right there right around by the there? Bakersfield's right there and then Not, a lot of fools from Ridgecrest they moved to Bakersfield so they're like we're going dude fucking let's go all the Ridgecrest people out there for only five people knew you had the bell flowers <laughs> no, they're gonna be like fools gonna do three platos only had five vatos <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, it's going down to Bakersfield. Yo, shout out to my cat, baby, making a return, huh, X? It's yeah, been a while. It's been a while. Don't you know what another happened? date. She has her own room now. Oh. Also, March 22nd, West Covina. Covina, I'm going to be at the Laugh Factory. Two shows Friday, two shows on Saturday, March 23rd. Uh, April. April 1st, I will be at the Comedy Store for my birthday show main room. It's a Monday. And I'm doing a secret lineup because the people that I bring in, guys, I can't p- promote them because then I got to pay them. Like, they belong to managers. So, y'all fools, trust me. Last one was insane, dog. The secret lineup. It was me, Edwin San Juan, Felipe Sparza, Willie Barcena, Ken Flores, Frankie Cuñones, and Concrete. Yep. Get your tickets now. It will sell out. Uh, look, fellas. If the show sells out. I'll let Tommy perform there, dog. Main room, dog. Comedy star. Yeah, it's spoiled, man. It's going down. So please Get don't ready. sell it out. I'm going to be holding 20 <laughs> <tickets>. <laughs> <laughs> does it, does it know, He still doesn't know how to hold the mic down. How to yeah, hold the mic. So you're get a headset. The <laughs> Danny, Danny's getting me a headset. A headset. Look at that, Janet Jackson. Yeah, how are you going to plug it in? You're going to walk around like a long cord? <laughs> I'm going to just be holding the fucking cord around right on the side. I'll just stay in the corner right by the fucking the curtain. Hey, <laughs> hey is there more beer? Yeah, yeah. Hook me up, dog. Another beer. Who's it on right now? I'll All right, Tommy, let me talk, because X has to go get us a beer, dog. So, look, Tommy, this is the advice, dog. You did 13 to 15 minutes last show. <laughs> now you got to go back and retune it. If you didn't write it, it's gone, eh? Yeah. You have to study the structure, right, Edwin? Or yeah, did you write it? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then I, I fucking practiced it and fucking... The and then the only thing is that when I went up there, everything that I wrote and practiced, a lot of it was there, but a lot of it, I just fucking was Off like... the cuff. Winging it. I just threw shit in there that I was like, oh, shit. Hey, didn't the club post a clip? How'd they get yeah. that clip? Who made that? I don't know. I think... Well, I think he... Didn't they say that he filmed, he filmed it, too? I don't know. I don't know, but... Hit him up. He has your set. I'm going to tell him I need the whole set. They're probably man. selling it at the Santa Fe Springs Farm. Damn. Right now, huh? <laughs> right now, uh, it's all, hey, fool, it's all hey would you be right happy now. or be like, hey, fool, go me give me money, or you'd be like, damn, I'll fool. go in there like Snoop Dogg. I'll start kicking the stance down. Hey! Nah. Why they did that? That shit will be dope. Imagine Snoop went into the swap meet, the Lamo swap meet, and he's all, you guys are selling the fake Snoop Doug shit, and he started taking that shit down like dick. I would be like, cool, he's a fucking billionaire. <laughs> Doug, they're making, you know what I'm saying? Let him. 
I would have been like, hey, I'm going to hook you up, restock you with some real shit. Uh, shit. You know some shit. Yeah, dog. You you don't you don't even have weed jars for me. <laughs> like, I'm over here fucking making deals for Snoop. <laughs> Snoop Dogg out there. Yo, Edwin, um, are you gonna let that fool bring merch to your show? <laughs> I'm gonna, be, <laughs> I'm gonna make him change. He could change my flyer, bro. <laughs> 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 so, hey, everybody, Edwin's back in town too, and uh, you're gonna be bringing your podcast back down here, right? Yeah, the yep. ESJ's podcast. Yep, ESJ podcast. We're like got a hundred episodes in, but I'm gonna start it up on my own right now. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Probably, I'm thinking like it's going to be lo- launched like on, on April. Okay, on there. Well, that's what's up, doggy dog. Well, uh, I'm high, dog. You know, yeah. After I'm, the intermission, I almost come back all. <laughs> yeah. Tommy, you high? We're fucking so ready. To like my eyes are my my lids are heavy high. Mm. Is it because of the cat cutting pedals right now? You're getting the allergies. Look at my other cat, fool. Just digging in. That's her spot, dog. She kicks her legs out like that. Like, what, eh? She ain't playing. X, how's the dog? Good, chilling, happy. AC's running right now. Or heater, whatever he needs. He has a remote? Yeah, boom. I turn on right now. I got him on TV. I got him on a webcam service. He has a heating (laughs) pad. Tommy knows. Tommy's taking care of my dog, huh? Bougie, huh? He's like, hey, let me in. (laughs) That fool calls me. He wants to come back whenever he gets his phone. I'm like, who is this? It's a fucking picture of the dog. You know, come pick me up. (laughs) 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 That fool would run away from. uh, He actually would open the door and he just runs right into my house. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Like, get me away from this. Tommy would give him snacks. And plus, uh, Donna's that right, Richie? Yeah. Richie, Richie, and fucking oh, if he came, Richie will fight his ass. <laughs> Get over here, punk! Hey, Donna and Richie will jump his ass. <laughs> 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 fucking boy, little dog. That's what's up. Well, hey, doggy dog. Uh, I want to thank you for coming, homie. Yeah, man. And uh, yo, we chopped it up, right? Yeah, yes, sir. I had fun. It's like fucking reunited, brother. Feels right. so good. Yeah, a lot of you guys don't know, man, but uh, Edwin put me up on the game, man, from day one, A1, from day one, and uh, a lot of new stuff's coming, guys. Um, it's George Press Stories, episode four, eight, what is it? 349. 349. X to the G. Anything? Hit that like button, subscribe, get us to 20,000. Come on, we're so close. 20,000 subscribers, let's get it going and uh, go buy your tickets and bring cash. I said it last time, bring cash. I will charge you an extra 10 bucks for the live angle. And don't forget to listen to Tommy's podcast, Holding It Down. Hold it down. Holding it down. Make sure you guys listen to Holding It Down with three plates on YouTube and anything else. Also, March 2nd, yes. we're doing a car show at El Barco Cantina in Santa Ana. It's a cruising for Ava, my sister. R.I.P. We're... we're, we're out there uh we're gonna have a whole bunch of cool car clubs funk freaks are gonna be djing right there i might be battling whoever wants to step up to and i'm saying we're gonna, I'm gonna have be a selling fruit. cardboard uh ex, uh ex george is gonna be selling fruit right there it's going down but make sure you guys check it out march 2nd el barco cantina in santa Ana. car show that's what's up this is george perez stories episode 349 with that being said Late. What's up, my boy? From that city with juice, ain't no pity or truces. When we dip in gun smoke's conclusive. Don't act clueless, hella bullish in the 90s. And GP shotgun when we ride. Solid on the yard, name hard on these streets. Did my crimes, gangster rhymes on dope beats. Still fuck laws, ain't no pause in our demeanor. Rest in peace, Muggsy and my road dog creeper. Ways to put it down, no fear of new cases. Years ago, though, it was guns and chases. 714 on my shoulders, kept it active. Roll like soldiers, G code ain't passive. Still Mac and Ratchet, still packed at the waist. Still stacking racks, still flash when they hate. Now it's podcasts and videos with pretty hoes. Me and George banging orange till the city's known. Really though. OG1. We keep it moving smooth like every day. It's going down for sure, for sure. 
Real G's in this industry. Oh, 